Welcome to all of you, and I hope you're well. It's good to be back with you once again. And uh, stay strong, support each other, and grow as a vibrant Christian Catholic community. So we begin with the first hymn, Spirit of God, that the awesome power of the Spirit will propel you to journey with faith and hope and love with the Lord through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Page 16. Brothers and sisters in Christ, here in Singapore and all over the world, we are grateful to God for the many blessings we have received from Him through the prayers of our Mother of Perpetual Health. Let us once more ask her to pray with us and for all of us. We have set three of the petitions. That I may have confidence and trust in my daily prayer. Assist us, O loving Mother, that I may have courage and strength in my difficulties. Assist us, O loving Mother, when I feel hurt and revengeful. Assist us, O loving Mother, to return quickly to Christ when I have sinned. Assist us, O loving Mother, when a member of the family is ill. Assist us, O loving Mother, when we have problems with money. Assist us, O loving Mother. When we have misunderstandings with one another. Assist us, O loving Mother. Guide our young people in living Christ's way of life. Assist us, O loving Mother. Guide our leaders to govern justly and fairly for the common good. Assist us, O loving Mother. Guide employers to treat their employees well. Assist us, O loving Mother. That we may cherish and protect the life of the unborn. Assist us, O loving Mother. Guide us in our loving concern and understanding for the poor and the deprived. Assist us, O loving Mother. When we become complacent with no need for God or religion. Assist us, O loving Mother. May Pope Francis receive courage and strength from the Holy Spirit. Assist us, O loving Mother. May those who have died share Christ's glory forever. Assist us, O loving Mother. We pray for our own intentions and pray for one another. So many families are struggling. We pray for those who are afflicted with the uh, coronavirus. As the doctors, we pray for the doctors and nurses. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear our petitions and grant them through the prayers of Mary, our mother. Amen. The thanksgiving and petitions. We thank you for sending in all your letters. There were a total of 389 letters. And, and send in your your petitions and thanksgiving at our Novena website. There were three, 253 petitions, 53 beautiful thanksgiving letters, and uh, private letters, about 83. The uh, sample of the petitions, I seek your motherly intercession to hear, to help my only son who is going through anguish 
pain and dilemma. Please intercede for him as I cannot lose him. He needs your love and mercy. Please help my sister. She's going through a tough time because of her in-laws. There are misunderstandings there are about the in-laws and uh, they lie about my sister and torture her. She's broken and our parents are clueless as to what to do with the present situation. There were so many sad letters, uh, domestic violence uh, and uh, misunderstanding. So we pray not just for this uh, petition, but for those who are really struggling to have that peace of mind at home. Dear Mother, I found out last week that I'm pregnant. Please bless me with a smooth pregnancy and deliver a normal, healthy baby. Dear Mother Perpetual Help, please intercede for me that my faith and trust in God will be strong and I will not be fearful of stress and be confident. Please pray for my granddaughter to stay healthy and for her coming PSLE exams and all those preparing for exams, PSLE, we are praying for you. I pray that my scan results will be positive. There will be no serious illness. Please heal my wife from all her illnesses. Pray for all who have suffered loss and for them to overcome the difficulties they are facing. And one special petition for this lady, Margaret, who is really suffering from a brain surgery operation and pray that she will recover through the prayers of our lady and your prayers. The Thanksgiving letters. Dearest Mother of Perpetual Hell, this Thanksgiving letter is one month overdue. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for interceding for my financial help. I was heavily in debt, and at the same time, I had no income for a year after being retrenched last year. I was worried, anxious, and depressed with the thought of being forced into bankruptcy. I had many sleepless nights, but Mother, you were there interceding for me, helping me to grow in faith during my troubled times, and I began to learn to trust God more and more and embrace His will for me, even to accept the reality that I may have to declare bankruptcy. One year has passed. Not only did I not become bankrupt, I have gotten a loan from a bank for my business and at the same time got employed in June 2020. Suddenly my financial problems are beginning to dissolve as I'm receiving income. I know that God wanted to use this one year to learn many things and to become stronger in faith during my difficult moments. Thank you so much, your Catholic son, and this is a good inspiration for those who are struggling financially. Dearest Mother, I'm very grateful for your immediate intercession to your son for my successful operation in the removal of a cancerous tumor in my left upper lung. After two years of observation, the non-cancerous small tumor suddenly became cancerous in just a few months. I was full of fear and negative thoughts came into my mind. I know I couldn't do anything except to pray and ask you to intercede to your son. My family and friends prayed for me, for which I'm thankful, and I went through the operation and got the results nearly this month that I had stage one cancer. The doctor said that the operation was successful and the tumor was totally removed and no treatment is needed. Thank you so much, your Catholic daughter. Dearest mother, thank you so much for your kind intercession for protecting my family. My father fell off from a ladder last week and was admitted to the hospital. Although his face was swollen and he had a fractured jaw, we are still thankful that he had no broken bones or fractures on his hip, spine, or skull, and that he could walk and talk the next day. Thank you, your grateful children. So continue to write in 
your thanksgiving letters. The letters are so beautiful. I could be here another one hour just proclaiming that on your behalf and to inspire you. So we continue to pray with hope, faith, and love. The prayer of confidence, mother of perpetual help, we come to you and place our trust in you. You are a mother of mercy. You are called by all the refuge and hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand to us poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past, we have often sinned, but with your help, we can conquer, and you'll help us if we pray to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, help me, let me never lose my God. Amen. The Magnificat, we share with Mary her prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in a nothingness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things and sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ. And you are our mother also. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart for giving us Mary to be our mother. She's so loving so thoughtful, so understanding, and so kind. We thank you for her. Amen. Mother dear, oh, pray for me. Just one verse, page 56. Mother dear, pray for me. As far from heaven and deep, I wander in Rachel back, O life's tempted sea, O virgin mother, from thy throne, so bright in bliss above. Protect thy child and cheer my path with thy sweet smile of love. Mother dear, remember me and never cease thy care till in heaven eternal Holy, thy love and bliss I share. Uh, just some commercials. The RCIA, Chinese RCIA, for this year will begin from the 15th August 2020, and the closing date will be the 31st of July. So if you're inspired by a lady, if Jesus is telling you something to embrace his church, go for it. And uh, we encourage you again to write in all your Thanksgiving letters. People would love to hear your inspiring Thanksgiving letters. The name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear people, the theme of the novena today is to look and tap into God's redeeming church. It's a big title. It's hard to remember. But all the time we are enjoying the reservoir of the power of Yahweh God, of the presence of Jesus in the sacraments, in our relationships, giving us that magnetic relationship 
of the power of the Holy Spirit. In this pandemic time of our history, giving us fortitude. Not the fortitude budget, but fortitude is a vital virtue and gift of the Holy Spirit. That's God's redeeming church for all of us in the whole world. And our Blessed Mother is present to remind us to be attached to her, to stick to her, and she will bring us the richness of the Holy Trinity in our faith journey. So we have God the Father, <clears throat> Jesus guiding us, and the Spirit of God giving us his fruits and gifts. And we have Our Lady journeying with us. That sums up God's redeeming church. It is a call and an invitation when so many people are sinking in the quicksand to be attached to a mysterious power present in our world. And I'll take this gospel, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. It's about attachment. It's about staying close to Jesus. It's about Jesus promising us he will lighten our burdens. I quote. And Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are burdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me. For I'm gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy, and my burden light. Now, what is this yoke that Jesus is talking about? It's about attachment. Carpenters in those times, the times of Jesus, will create a huge wooden ring. It's a yoke, a round ring. And they'll take that ring, attach it to the two oxen, one weak, one strong. And the weak will depend on the strong. And the strong will support the weak. You know, St. Paul in Romans said, those who are strong ought to support the weak. And in this beautiful gospel, the first invitation is to come. Come to me. All you who are burdened and worried, struggling, you can't make sense of this virus. You do not know when it's going to end. But to come to him and to stick to him. Now, it's... Very inspiring, I was driving past Novena Church last week, and I said to my fellow confrere priests, look at all the people. They are praying at the foot of the steps of Novena Church. They can't come in yet. They are praying. They are placing flowers, and they move on. Just a few days ago, as I was driving, I saw a lady in pouring rain without an umbrella. And she was praying devoutly. That's the magnetic pull. It's a magnet pulling you a grace and energy to a living supernatural presence. That's there. The aura is there. The light is there. The presence is there. The grace is there. That's why they are there. Just about a month ago, I was at the SSC hospital and I met my old friend of 40 years and he had cancer. And the nurse said, Father, you can only visit him once. He hasn't got long to go. And the family, Merle and the children, were gathered around him. 
Raphael Doret has done so much for the church for 40 years. I said, Raphael, go back on all those grace-filled moments when the challenges were huge, but there's a mysterious presence. Jesus was with you. Go back to the times we are so devoted to Our Lady, and she's here for you. Raphael made a good confession. I anointed him. He received the Eucharist, and he was smiling right throughout. And he passed away with the family praying the rosary. That is attachment. That's why Jesus said, I will be with you till the end of the world. So we have the mysterious magnetic pull of Jesus drawing us to himself. And more and more people are receiving those extraordinary gifts from our Divine Lord through the prayers of Our Lady. Now, if you look at what St. Louis de Montfort says about Mary, and I quote, Mary will give you a faith firm and immovable as a rock through which you will rest quiet and constant in the midst of storms and hurricanes. You are like that rock. You are immovable. And Mary will ask Jesus for the gift of the solid rock spirituality just for you. St. Alphonsus, our founder, I quote, and this is beautiful, Mary had the virtue of hope in the highest degree. She also had the virtue of faith in that same high degree. What does it mean? That we are recipients of the mighty, awesome power of Jesus in our lives. So my dear people, the mantra perhaps when you are struggling, what are you to say after this novena and difficult moments? Somebody is sick, you have lost your job. The young people can't contact their friends, but still that power is there. Paul puts it very well, the mantra for each day. I can do all things with Christ who strengthens me. Beautiful. I can do all. Everything with Christ who strengthens me. You know, I have a huge title here. God's Redeeming Church. Very hard to remember after this novena, but very easy for Singaporeans who voted recently. God's Redeeming Church is the GRC. God, G, redeeming us through His church. There are four members in this GRC for the last 2,000 years. This GRC can never be destroyed. The Holy Trinity, Our Lady, four persons. But there's also a fifth person in this GRC. That fifth person is you. Claim it, own it, be empowered. So there are five members of this GRC, the Holy Trinity, Our Lady, and all of you. Bringing strength to the weary, consoling someone. And if you feel you are strong, attach up your aura and light and grace to somebody who is weak. And Jesus said, you know, shoulder on me. Be attached to me. Cry on my shoulder. Take that circular, that ring, that beautiful ring, and tie it around me and with you. And we can do great things for God. So I wish you well. Have a great time. Smile, laugh, rejoice. For the greatest power of the universe, God is with us and Our Lady walking side by side with us. Amen. We pray the memorare with faith and hope and love and confidence. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to you, Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, 
Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. For those who are sick in the various homes and hospitals, we pray for you, those having cancer and those who are really feeling depressed. God will touch you right now through the prayers of Our Lady. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows. Hear our prayers for the sick. Help them to unite themselves with your suffering. And if it is your will, may they get better. Let them never forget that you care for them. We pray for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Archbishop, William Go. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, from thy sacred image, verses 1 and 2. Mary, from thy sacred image, with those eyes so sadly sweet, Mother of perpetual succor, see us kneeling at thy feet. In thy arms, thy child, thou bear. You have given them bread from heaven. Heaven itself holds you love. Let us pray. O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you left us a memorial of your passion. We ask you to enable us so to worship the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may constantly feel in our lives the effects of your redemption. 
You will live and reign forever and ever. We ask Jesus to liberate us, set us free, and to journey with us every step that we take from now onwards. Final hymn on page 61, O Purest of Creatures. And before I have the, we sing the hymn, uh, my dear people, you're listening, viewing this novena from home and overseas, rest assured that you are very, very close in our prayers in the hearts of our Redemptress community here in Singapore. Take care of yourselves and take care of one another. O purest of creatures. <clears throat> o purest of creatures, sweet mother, sweet maid, the one spotless womb wherein Jesus was laid, dark night has come on. Mother and we look out for thy shining sweet star of the sea. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave. God bless you. Have a great day. Amen. <clears throat>